Hello guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Thank you for tuning into the channel. On today's episode, I'm going to take a look at the Army Painter Mega Paint Set. This set comes with 39 acrylic paints, 5 metallic paints, and 4 washes, and 2 effects for a total of 50 war paints. Paint sets are also matched to the Army Painter color primers, which is not included in this set. I love their primers, so it's good to know that the, these color match up. And you also get a Wargamer Regiment Army Painter brush. Another nice thing about the Army Painter sets is that they put different colored caps on the different products. For instance, the acrylic paints and the effects have a white cap the metallics have a black cap and the washes have a red cap so it's easy to pick out what you're going for when just looking at the cap join me as we take a look and see what's inside this box together so i went to my local game shop and decided to make a purchase because it's we're currently in the face of the pandemic and i haven't been going to my game shop with as much frequency as I have before the plague. So I thought I would go and spend some money, even though this year I, on a whole, like don't spend extra cash spree. This is in my allowance because it is a craft supply and also it is for the YouTube channel. Here is the painter set. I just dropped everything and dented the box. So that just happened. Anyway, let's carry on with this. So with this set, you get 50 war paints and you get a brush and you get a free painting guide. Uh, what the war paints consist of 39 acrylic paints, two effects like blood and rust. Then you get your metallics. There's five of those. And then there's four of these red capped washes. Now, what I really like are the different caps on these sets because I can look at a glance and know, oh, that's a paint. That's metallic, and that is a wash. So the manufactured price was $134.99 with 50 paints, which is still a good deal because these paints go for, I think, three and a quarter. If, if this is, uh, if it's not on sale, I think I'm paying $3.25 for an individual paint. If you're looking to buy these individually, this would easily be over $150. I got this on sale. It was 20% off. So I paid a hundred and some change, which equals about two bucks a paint, which I think is a great deal. Here are all the colors that come and washes and uh, effects that come with the kit. What's also really nice is that this is going to match up with your Army Painter Primer, which I'm a big fan of. Uh, I generally use black or white, but, but I think now that I have all these great colors, I'm gonna start uh, trying out different primers. I also purchased some other stuff from Army Painter. I did uh, purchased this uh, Dremel set because I play Gaslands and I wanna start taking the cars apart a little better. And I got uh, this Dremel. I got this miniature model drill, which is like a Dremel. So I can start taking my models apart better. And I got a little uh, inexpensive D&D licensed paint brush set, which is also by the Amy Army Painter. Cause I mean, I gave a little money back to the community. Steve's business is still open, which is fantastic, especially during times like this. I also gave Steve some of our new product line to sell at his store. This is our gingerbread gang, which has a series of gingerbread minis armed and dangerous for your fifth edition games, your RPGs, Frostgrave, Mordheim, Warhammer, you name it. We've also got the Snow Goons, which is an eight pack set of two of our minis that are popular Battlehammer, Frosty, and our Schnarg which make great snow golems for that frosty frost maiden frost land adventure. Here's an example of one of our minis, the gingerbread gang. And here is an example of one of the snow golems, the snow goons. We also have things like reindeer zombies, if you're looking for such things. So uh, I took some of these to Steve for his store to sell. I gave him three of each of those sets. Just uh, give him a little booster. Uh, also, here is the Army hair, or the Army Painter Mega Set. Let me get my bag out of the way. And let's go ahead and take a look and see what this is all about. Oh, I'm so excited for this. 
So first thing I see, oops, it's taped on there, is the uh, these guides. Comes with these really cool painting guides for, I guess, beginners and more advanced folks can learn some things as well. Oh wow, this is a really in-depth guide. This is a great guide. Oh, look at that. That's, oh my God, this is so awesome. So I'll definitely be, I'm excited about this. And then we also have the uh, product list, which is nice. Something to read before use. Meh, I'm <laughs> just kidding. Oh, here's the full range of paints. Very nice. Something's missing or smashed or whatever. It's cool. I love the packaging. I have to take a, maybe start doing something like that. So here's this set right here, I guess an empty tray. And then let's take a look at everything. Oh, here's the brush. The uh, Wargamer Regiment. Very, 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 very tiny, 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 tiny brush. Yeah, look at that. Very, very tiny brush. Wow. I might, I want, kind of want to use that for my for makeup. <laughs> uh, here we go. Here are the sets of paints. Turn these around so you can see. Oh, look, these are some nice gray paints. This is really cool because I was working on the uh, rock statue. Yeah, because I was working on the rock statue tutorials and I wanted to, I shifted focus to come over here and do the army painters because um, I wanted to use these before I painted the rock statue. I think I'm gonna use these on the, the rock statue from the Dollar Tree. Back to the army painter, I get distracted easily. Here are all the colors. Got Warlock Purple, Orc Blood, Alien Purple, Grimoire Purple, Crusted Sore, Necromancer Cloak, Dark Stone, Uniform Gray, Ash Gray, and a Matte White. Awesome. Here are the other colors. Turn them around. The blues, we have uh, Void Shield Blue, Electric Blue, Crystal Blue, Ultramarine Blue, and a Deep Blue. And then in the greens, we've got Army Green, Scaly Hide, Necrotic Flesh, Skeleton Bone, and Mummy Robes. More of these acrylics. Okay, we have Dragon Red, Glistening Blood. I think that might be an effect. Yeah, that's an effect. Pure Red, Lava Orange, Demonic Yellow. Jungle Green, I love that color. Goblin Green, Green Skin, Wizard Orb, and Angel Green. I think I might have a couple extras of those. I might have to give, give one of those to my buddy James. Okay, what do we got going on here? Barbarian flesh, so not a, I guess if you're not a barbarian, you're not allowed. Uh, it kind of looks like a Kim Kardashian flesh. Elven flesh, moon dust, <laughs> tanned flesh, and dry rust. Ooh, once again, another effect. Dry rust. I'm looking, going to look forward to that dry rust on my Gaslands vehicles. Okay, here we have some browns. I have a bunch of these already, I think. Yeah, I have a, we have oak brown, fur brown, leather brown, monster brown, and desert yellow. That could almost be called baby poop. Let's see over here. We've got our mid. Now we've now we're moving into the different caps. So we've got our black caps, and we have weapon bronze, greedy gold, gun metal, plastic mail metal, and shining silver. I'm so looking forward to using those. I have a little terrain piece that I need to paint up. That. Um, will be perfect. It has all sorts of gears and steampunky kind of things. It'll be perfect with that. And then now we have the washes, which are the red caps. And we have uh, matte black, dark tone, soft tone, strong tone, and flesh wash. I have, I think these two. I have dark tone too. I think I have these three already that I use a lot for my gas lines and I love it. So there you go. There's a little quick, un hopefully by the time we edit this down, there is a quick 
video f of the Army Painter paint set, the Mega Paint set. I think it's a really good value, great deal. I am a fan of the Army Painter sets. I know I do, I review and I play with all sorts of products and I did a recent hack for Citadel Paints and that almost, oh my God, that almost caused like an online end of the world. People were having so so many opinions about their paints, which I understand, I get it, but um, I like to try a little bit of everything and I am indeed a big fan of the Army Painters. So I am really looking forward to this set. I'm looking forward to uh, playing around with these beautiful colors, have a full spectrum. And I hope this has helped you with the review. People ask me all the time, like, what should we use for uh, Warren Christmas Village miniatures? I huge, I'm a huge, huge fan of the, the Army Painter products. So if you're looking to start start your your journey into the hobby, I highly recommend this kit. These these paints from what I are, tend to be a little bit on the thicker side. So if you're into layer painting, you need to water them down a little bit. If you're a beginner painter, these are great for just being able to get it and go. Uh, your basic colors and then throw on your wash, which is kind of my level of painting. I'm not really the best painter. Um, but there you go, there you have it and enjoy.